the purple and I do the the whoosh, whoosh. the whoosh, whoosh, the whoosh, and the whoosh. So nothing's new there, guys. Now the new stuff is. <laughs> Hi, hello. What's going Welcome on? To... Oops, one more time, one more time. <laughs> I was trying to throw you off. <laughs> Welcome to part 1C, guys. Uh, if you came from 1B, hello, thanks for joining us. Make sure you watch part 1A, 1B before watching this video so it makes sense. They're super fun. They're not as fun as this video though, so you gotta finish this video too. Ooh. Yeah. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching and please help considering, please help considering, please help, please, please help, please consider helping us as a patron on Patreon. There you go. You can help support this podcast series and us by buying us a boba or a soda, depending on who you want to help support, who you like more. Right. Mm -hmm. Are you team Jason right. or your team Frank? Mm -hmm. You better pick the yeah. right one. Yeah, and then this video one C. Ignore the ignore the uh, the template. It's gonna say one B, but it's actually one C. Yeah, one B was too long, so we have to make it two parts. Yeah. And also, and then in part D, what's coming up, Jason? What do they have to watch after this video? Uh, we have the cyclical pie systems. <laughs> yeah, they're over there. Go 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 check it out. So that was diazomethane, and next we have a really cool molecule that looks simple, but it's actually uh, it's a little complicated. This one's not super complicated. Okay. Allene's unique in the fact that what we've seen so far is we have like a carbon, carbon double bond, maybe followed by a single bond or a, car, a nitrogen double bond. But this one has a double bond followed by a double bond. So it's a unique situation. We got to figure out what the heck is going on and is, is this even possible? The next, there's also another molecule that's really similar that we want to talk about. Azide is a very cool molecule that looks like allene, but it's really complicated, which you'll see. Okay. But we wanted to kind of compare and contrast these two molecules. So you can kind of still apply what we talked in the previous video for these example problems. 